With a seeming stalemate on land, sea, and air, the US, Russia, and China are now taking their war to space. The weapons in this war are known as space planes, and all three nations have developed their respective representatives at record paces, with China recently testing two different space planes in a single month. The bar is high, the ring is set, the competition is tough, but the US is not giving up. To dominate in this new space battle, the US has gotten a step ahead of the competition by developing their first ever space plane. The concept of modern space planes seems to surround an American space plane developed over a decade ago, the Boeing X-37. In March 2021, a Russian news site reported that Roscosmos, the Russian space agency, was developing a space plane similar to the X-37. Similar X-37-like reports also surround the Chinese space planes which are already being tested. In August 2022, state-owned China Aerospace Science and Technology Corporation reported that the contractor for the Chinese space program had, for the first time, successfully reused a suborbital space plane. The vehicle had its first flight in July 2021. The timing of this announcement coincided with a second Chinese space plane that was already in space at the time of the announcement, orbiting the planet. This second Chinese space plane was launched on August 4th from the Jiuquan Launch Center in the Gobi Desert, atop a Long March 2F rocket. The size of the rocket fairing as well as amateur sightings and tracking by the U.S. Space Force all point to a vehicle similar to, you guessed it, the X-37. This seeming replication of the X-37 across the world is understandable. It has been the poster child for space planes since its introduction, thanks to an unrivaled performance that has seen both X-37 units developed in the U.S. spend over 2,700 days in space. That's over seven years. In fact, one of them is in space right now and has been there for the last two years. However, as the world powers close in on the X-37 capabilities, the US is already going beyond it by investing heavily in two space planes that could redefine how space planes work, the Dream Chaser and the Radiant One. But before diving into what makes these space planes special, it's important to first know how space planes work. Space planes are basically airplanes that can operate in space. However, that definition may be incomprehensive because unlike conventional airplanes, space planes cannot traditionally take off from a runway, although they can land and taxi on it. To take off, space planes are strapped onto rockets to be shot into orbit, marking the first stage of the journey. Once in orbit, the rocket, now burnt out and without fuel, is detached, leaving the space plane to continue its journey solo in the second stage of the journey. During this stage, the space plane must overcome significant aerodynamic loads and vibrations. It is supplied power either by solar panels, batteries, or fuel cells. It is maneuverable in space, communicated with, kept in thermal equilibrium, oriented, and has heavy heat shielding to withstand the unavoidable extreme heating that comes with re-entry into Earth's atmosphere. All three space planes that have ever successfully flown, NASA's Space Shuttle, Soviet Buran, and Boeing's X-37B, have flown with this two-stage-to-orbit approach because it allows the space plane to be small and light since it doesn't need to contain all the engines and fuel required to reach space. However, it does have its downside as a literal rocket load of fuel is needed during the first stage of flight to thrust heavy rockets into orbit. Recognizing this downside, space planes in the US are now developed with an alternative approach to flight, an approach so conventional that it's revolutionary. The space plane would take off horizontally like an airplane and simply fly into orbit in a single stage to orbit flight setup. On returning, it could glide and maneuver onto any airport runway across the world, canceling out the need to target deserts, ships, landing pads, or oceans, as is the norm today. The US is developing a space plane with this capability, known as the Radian 1. However, alongside the single stage to orbit Radian 1, the U.S. is developing another two-stage-to-orbit space plane that's more advanced than all of its two-stage-to-orbit predecessors. This space plane is known as the Dream Chaser. Dream Chaser is an American reusable lifting body space plane being developed by Sierra Nevada Corporation Space Systems, or Sierra Space for short, alongside an Ivy League of technology partners. 
These partners include Aerojet to supply the reaction control system technology, Adam Works for the composites, Charles Stark Draper Laboratory for the guidance, navigation, and control systems, the University of Colorado for human rating, MDA for systems engineering, and Lockheed Martin for airframe construction. Dream Chaser comes in two variants, a crude variant and a cargo variant. The crude variant is planned to carry up to seven people and cargo to and from low Earth orbit, while the cargo variant is designed to carry two times the cargo of the crude version, amounting to 12,125 pounds of pressurized and unpressurized cargo. Cargo could include critical supplies like food, water, science experiments, virtually anything, even satellites. The concept of the Dream Chaser tickled NASA's fancy early on, and so in 2016, Sierra Space secured a major procurement from NASA that would amount to over $1 billion. The task? To fly cargo and supplies to the International Space Station in at least six different flight missions. By 2021, Sierra Space had gotten another $1.4 billion investment in a Series A funding that, according to the company, would see the Dream Chaser flying astronauts into space by 2025. In addition to resupply missions, the Dream Chaser is expected to be used for Earth observation, satellite deployment, refuel, and repair, among other tasks. This multi-mission versatility of the Dream Chaser is thanks to some key features. It has a lifting body design. It requires no pilot and can autonomously launch, fly, and land. It is highly reusable and so can be launched over 15 different times. It has a thermal protection system made up of silica-based tiles, and a new advanced composite material that combines to resist temperatures that rival that of the surface of the sun. It is also compatible with multiple launch vehicles, although it was planned to be launched on a human-rated Atlas V N12 rocket, where it would take off in the traditional two-stage-to-orbit setting. However, not too far away in Washington, the space plane that breaks out of tradition by flying from the ground straight to space is being developed. The holy grail of space travel. Enter Radian 1. Radiant One is the world's first crewed single-stage-to-orbit vehicle with runway-like takeoff and landing. A literal demonstration of the term space plane, Radiant One takes off from the surface of the Earth and arrives in space. It does this by a sled-assisted takeoff on the ground, where the vehicle is launched horizontally on a rocket-powered sled. This enables the vehicle to take off at high speeds without spending much of its onboard fuel. With a full tank, the Radiant One continues on a comfortable low-G ascent that's safe for crew flight, powered by its three powerful engines the rest of the way. With its ease of flight and a huge size that's enough to transport a crew of five people and up to 5,000 pounds of cargo, Radiant One is equipped to execute a wide range of space-based operations, whether the operation lasts for one or up to five days in orbit. After performing its orbital operations, the vehicle re-enters into Earth's atmosphere with heavy heat shielding to protect its crew and whatever cargo it has been tasked with returning to Earth. Radiant One can land like an airplane on any smooth runway with at least 10,000 feet of asphalt or tarmac goodness. This would mark the completion of a successful return mission, and in 48 hours, the vehicle is prepared and ready for another mission. This combination of revolutionary capabilities, comfort for the crew, flexibility of missions, and rapid reflight, while being affordable in NASA's million-dollar terms, makes the Radiant One the most advanced space plane to ever exist. It is easy to picture how such a vehicle could expand access to space and unlock the next generation of missions beneficial to humanity, such as in-space manufacturing, terrestrial observation, and in-depth scientific research. These are quite the expectations for a startup, but the Washington-based Radian Aerospace Company developing Radian One seems to be up to the task with the right team at its service. The team includes co-founders that hail from Boeing, NASA, the U.S. Department of Defense, and beyond, while its advisory board includes former International Space Station and Space Shuttle commanders. Accompanying these stellar credentials are just as stellar funding. In January 2022, Radiant Aerospace announced it had secured $27.5 million in funding to develop the Radiant One. This funding could be the seed that births the most advanced spacecraft the world has never seen, further fueling the race to space domination among the US, Russia, and China. China with its two space planes being tested, Russia with its Roscosmos, and the US with both the Dream Chaser and the one-of-a-kind Radiant One. 
These are the vehicles that will drive the next generation of space domination for these countries. But according to experts, what they need the most to bring these vehicles to life is for you to subscribe to this channel and give this video a like. That would be all for this video. To infinity and beyond.